Hello, welcome back to Learn Economia. Having discussed a lot about uh, the arrow debris model, in this video we are going to see the applications of arrow debris model. Let's proceed. So this particular model, as I was telling uh, in the earlier classes, was given by two economists, uh, Kenneth Darrow and Debrew. Uh, so uh, these uh, these economists had given this model that is commonly known as the Arrow Debrew model. And as a result of the development of this model, we could see that this model has got a huge impact on various aspects of economics. Especially when it comes to financial economics, this model is very, very important. We are going to see how it is uh, influencing the various fields of economics or the various uh, aspects of economics. This model is also a long-standing problem of proving the existence of equilibrium in the valuation complexity system. <coughs> so, the, we know that the valuation equilibrium system deals with several aspects like a, existence of the equilibrium, stability of the equilibrium, <coughs> sorry, and uniqueness of the equilibrium kinds of things. Now coming to the existence of a general equilibrium in the valuation framework, this model plays a very important role. And also when it comes to the analysis of the exact solutions of those markets that are competitive, this particular model is very, very important. Again, we could see that this model suggests that prices such as aggregate suppliers will equal to aggregate demand for every commodity. And how you can see aggregate demand and aggregate suppliers will be equal? In order for this to happen, there should be certain market conditions. And these conditions would be satisfied in certain, uh, certain market conditions. And these market conditions would be perfect competition and demand independence. So when you have these two things, you can make aggregate supply and aggregate demand for every commodity to be equal. <coughs> this model, uh, arrow debru model, is considered to be modified into spatial and spatial or intertemporal models. How can we do that? We can modify this model by considering space and time based on the commodities location as well as time and delivery. Spatial means we consider the aspect of location and temporal means time. And coming to the next aspect of arrow debris model, we could see that whenever we specify commodities to be conditional on various state of the world, this model can be used to combine expectation and uncertainty. Even though in real life we do have a lot of expectation regarding various things, since the world is uncertain, since uh, things are uncertain in the economy, there exist so many elements of risk. There exists information asymmetry, there exists uncertainty, there exists imperfections, there exists market failure. So in such a world, when certain commodities are specified to be conditional on various states of the world, this model can easily combine expectations as well as uncertainty into analysis. Next, we could see that when it comes to financial and monetary markets, when it comes to international trade, this particular model is very important. So as I was telling, coming to the existence of general equilibrium, valuation general equilibrium, this model is very important in providing some long-standing uh, proof. With a general equilibrium structure, this model is applicable 
in certain other aspects as well. So this can be used to evaluate the impact on resource allocation of policy. And mainly the government would be taking a lot of policies in the name of taxation policies, expenditure policies, price control policies, etc. <coughs> so it applies to all general equilibrium models, which would depend upon certain accurate mathematical proofs. Aero-Debru model has got lots and lots of implications. Again, in the field of financial economics, There is a certain kind of security which you can call as an arrow debris security. And this is something that we can use to make some differences between pricing and hedging issues in the derivative analysis. And also uh, arrow debris model is used in the arena of financial engineering. Uh, but we could see that it has turned out to be very limited, especially when it comes to the multi-period or continuous market. Even though it is, it has got some limited implication, it has got some implication. Then, even though this model has got a lot of application, it doesn't mean that the model is free from criticisms. The model suffers from a lot of criticisms. Especially this model is criticized from the perspective of the assumptions that the model has used. <clears throat> it says that the many of the criticisms say that the assumptions it makes do not fit the workings of the real economy. Even though it is used in financial market, it is used in industry in derivative markets. It is used to deal with the existence aspects of the valuation general equilibrium model. Even though it is used in financial engineering, this has got a lot of criticisms. And now coming to derivative industry, this model helps the industry to grow at a rapid pace. So that's all about today. I request you to like, share and subscribe to this channel for more videos. And you can be a part of my Telegram channel and Telegram group to discuss your doubts. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.